There's something about banners that perks people up, brings joy to their hearts, and a song to their souls. What is it about banners that does this? To understand the idea behind banners, we go to the Liturgical Fabric Arts Department of the School Sisters of Notre Dame in St. Louis. Here we meet Sister Josephine Neiman. In this department, we make vestments, altar linens, banners, anything that's used in liturgy. I like working in liturgical fabric arts because I think it's a ministry that fills a great need in the parishes. I'm the main designer for liturgical fabric arts. I design the vestments and banners. I think there are people who don't realize why banners are needed in church. Why do we make banners for churches? The purpose of banners is to help set the tone or the mood of the liturgy. Whatever is placed in worship needs to contribute to the feeling of awe and reverence. Or they can simply express festivity. I try to make the banners that I design do this. They need to touch the heart. And whatever touches the heart in liturgy makes that liturgy more authentically human. There are people who don't like banners in churches. They feel banners are superfluous, that they take away from what is essential to the Eucharistic celebration. When banners are designed well, the opposite is true. Banners can also be made to identify the liturgical season. We have specific colors for the various seasons. These correlate with the mood of the particular season. When the banners adorn the sanctuary area of the church, I design them so that the lines and color draw attention to the action of the liturgy. Usually this means that the lines of the banners point directly to the altar. Sister Josephine Neiman, together with her friend Pam Hardiman, wrote the book Raise the Banners High to help and encourage others in this special art form, as she explains. The reason I wanted to do it was simply that there are so few books written about banners. When I talk to groups of women about making banners for their parishes, they'd often ask me to give them some suggestions for books on banners. And there really aren't that many books out there. Primarily, we want to encourage women and men who might be making banners to be creative and to stretch their imaginations to see what they can come up with. Liturgy in the Catholic worship tradition doesn't just happen. It requires careful planning. Today, you have seen what we do to help make the liturgy not only joyful, as it was intended, but also meaningful. Our department creates fabric art for Roman Catholic parishes and for other faith denominations as well. Please call us here at the Liturgical Fabric Arts Department of the School Sisters of Notre Dame if you would like to have banners, stoles, vestments, or altar linens made for your church. We would also be happy to come to your parish or deanery to give a workshop in art and environment for Catholic worship. Please give us a call. Thank you.